This is the Sony Xperia Z3. Let's review it. For design, the Z3 is mostly glass, with a glass front and back, providing a smooth surface to hold in your hand. The sides of the device are made from aluminium which is smooth and flush to the glass on the device. On the top of the device you have a headphone jack, a small hole for the microphone. On the left hand side you have your charging ports. One is like a MagSafe style adapter which clicks onto the side of the device. And the other one is a micro USB port hidden behind a little cover. On the right hand side you have your micro SD and SIM card slot. The power button, volume rockers and the dedicated power button are also on the right hand side. For dimensions the device is 14.6cm tall and 7.2cm wide and 7.3mm thin which makes it a fairly large device but even at this size it's still comfortable to hold in the hands. A few things that I would have to fault with this design is that the power button is a bit small. Luckily there is an option which will allow you to double tap the screen on the device to turn it on but I do wish the power button was a bit larger. The second thing would be that the glass is very prone to fingerprints and smudges. And the final thing is that the covers over the USB charging port and the micro SD card slot can be an annoyance to open, but that isn't a deal breaker. The Z3 comes out of the box with Sony Xperia UI, which is Sony's Android skin. I'm not an enormous fan of the skin because Sony's icons don't really match the feel of Android and I had to replace the Xperia keyboard with the Google keyboard because I was finding it difficult to type on the device. But apart from the icons and the keyboard, the skin is fine and the skin runs very well on the device and doesn't lag at all which helps to provide a good and consistent user experience. The display on the Z3 is a 5.2 inch 1080p LCD display which provides bright and vivid colours to the user making pictures and videos great to look at. Viewing angles are also very good on the display and I did have to disable the automatic brightness option because the screen did look a bit too dim but I usually do that on most devices anyway. Moving on to the camera and the camera is probably the main selling point of the Z3. It has a 20.7 megapixel sensor which lets you take in-depth high quality photos and the camera also supports 4K video recording at 30 frames a second. 1080p video recording at 60 frames a second and 720p video recording at 120 frames a second. The camera app does also include a lot of extra features that can use the camera and on the front of the device is a 2.2 megapixel camera which can also shoot 1080p video at 30 frames a second. Performance is not an issue on the Z3. The device rocks a Qualcomm Snapdragon 801 processor running at 2.46 gigahertz with 3 gigs of RAM to keep the device running. Apps take around a second to open and I was able to play games on the device without an issue. The only thing that I did notice was that the very top of the device got a little warm while playing games and I did some benchmarks on it and the Z3 scores just below the Samsung Galaxy S5 so overall it's a pretty good phone. Battery life on the Z3 is also very impressive. The battery inside is a 3100mAh battery and on that you'll easily get a full day of usage on the device and you may even get an extra half a day as well without even having to plug it in yet. So overall the Z3 is a very premium device and that does come at a cost as currently from Sony the device costs £549 but if you want a high quality built phone with a great camera and screen I would highly suggest you to get this phone. So that's been the video, make sure to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.